Hello and welcome to Pixel Magic Tutorials. I am your host Geekman and today we're going to learn how to create custom brushes in Photoshop. The most requested custom brush in fact which is the star brush. Before we begin there's a couple of assumptions I'm making. Number one I am using Windows so if you're using a Mac should I say hit the control key I mean the command key on a Mac and if I say the alt key what I mean is the option key on a Mac. So without further ado, let's begin. The first thing that we're going to do is create a brand new document. Let's hit Control N to create a brand new document and let's name it Star Brush Master. We're going to make it 500 pixels wide by 500 pixels high. The resolution is 150 pixels per inch. RGB color mode background white, that's actually important, uh, color profile RGB 1998 square pixels. Hit OK and we have our new document. A moment ago I said that having a white background was important and that's because when making a brush white means transparent and all of the grayscale values above white all the way to black that's actually what the brush uses when you use a brush. So from very, 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 very light gray all the way up to black, which is why most brushes are done using only grayscale values. With that in mind, let's make sure that our foreground and background are in the default black and white colors by hitting D on our keyboard. Now let's create a new layer by going to the Create New Layer icon on the bottom of our Layers palette. And we'll also create a pair of guidelines by going to our ruler. If you do not have your ruler out, you can go to View, Rulers, and make sure it's checked, or hit Control r on the keyboard. Click and drag out from the ruler and you will see a new guideline is created. Let's let it snap to the center. It snaps in right there let go and then grab from the top and do the same thing to the center. And there we have our new center guidelines. Now let's, let's select our ellipse tool and we are going to create a new ellipse. The feather will be 25. Anti-alias is on. Style is going to be a fixed size. We're going to make it 100 pixels wide by 350 pixels high. We're going to go to our document, click anywhere on it to create the ellipse, and then drag that ellipse until it snaps to the center of our document. Then we're going to hit the Alt and Backspace to fill that with black. Then hit Control D to deselect, and then Control H to hide our guides because we don't need them anymore. Next we're going to transform this by hitting Control T on our keyboard, and we're going to go up to the options bar at the top of the window and we're going to change the width to be 5%. Then we're going to click on the check mark and we now have the beginnings of our star brush. Now we're going to duplicate the layer by hitting Control J on our keyboard and then we're going to transform this by hitting Control T on our keyboard going up to the angle option in the options bar and we're going to type in 90 degrees. We're going to then hit OK, and then we're going to combine the two layers by hitting Control E. We will then rename this as Basic Star. Now we will duplicate the layer by hitting Control J again, and then we're going to transform the layer by hitting Control T again, and we're going to change the angle to 45 degrees and we're going to change the width and height first click on the little chain link icon between width and height to constrain them to the same size and we're going to change it to 60 percent. We're then going to hit the check mark and we have a new star. Let's name this layer Inner Star and let's move it underneath Basic Star. Now click back onto Basic Star Layer and let's create a new layer above that and rename that as Center. 
Now let's go select our brush tool by hitting B on our keyboard and let's set the brush to be a soft round brush mode normal opacity will be 100% flow 100% and the size will be 45 so change it to 45 as the size of the brush anywhere on our document you can click once to create the dot then we will select the entire document control A and then switch to our move tool by clicking on the move tool and then up in the options there are these alignment buttons click on the one for centering it to the document and click on the one to the centering it to the vertical of the document and it is now in the center of our star with the entire document still selected let's go up to edit define brush preset and let's name it as star brush 01 hit OK and then you will now find your new brush under your brush palette if you go to the brush palette you will see your brush at the bottom of the palette let's test out the brush by deselecting our document hiding our top three layers and creating a brand new layer above everything else we can make the star bigger or smaller by hitting the bracket keys on our keyboard or by using this slider up here to change the size of the brush and boom we have our brushes you can of course do this with uh, many different designs for your stars for example if you wanted to create a star with a halo or lens flare on it you could do it this way first let's delete our samples that we just did by hitting control A and the delete key then control D to deselect once again then let's turn on the other layers that we turned off our center basic star and inner star so we can see what we were working with and go to our brush palette and change back to the center dot that we were using before then we also want to go to the ellipse tool and we want to make sure that we are using the round ellipse feather 25 pixels fixed size 100 350 is no longer any good because we want a circle so let's make it 350 by 350 pixels click in your document on the extra layer that we created to create your circle then move that circle to the center of the document now we'll fill this with black by hitting alt backspace and then we're going to transform the selection to make it smaller so we're going to go up to select transform selection change the uh, click on the com constrained selection to the same for width and height and let's make it only 80 percent as large as it was hit the check mark and then hit the delete key on your keyboard and you now have a ring hit control D to deselect and then let's transform it again to make it small enough to fit where we want it to be right about there looks good hit enter on your keyboard to accept that change and then let's change the opacity of the layer to only 25 percent and now we have a starburst with a little halo on it you can also take the inner star duplicate that layer and then transform that by a few degrees just click and drag by holding the shift key and you would get this duplicate that again by hitting control J control T to transform that and do that and now you've got another star there are literally hundreds of ways of creating a starburst that you can then turn into your own custom brush I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please give me a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe. This is Geekman signing off for Pixel Magic Tutorials.